Hello and welcome to O Worm. Today we'll be taking a look at the anatomy of the spinal cord. So this is a cow spinal cord I've got here. And the spinal cord is a long cylinder of nerve tissue that extends from the brain down the vertebral column. It carries messages between the brain and the rest of your body, and also coordinates reflexes, which are carried out independently in the spinal column without input from the brain. The spinal cord is also surrounded by the vertebral column, which protects and supports it. This one has obviously been removed from the vertebral column though. The spinal cord is also surrounded by three layers of membranes, which are collectively called the spinal meninges. You might remember the meninges from our brain video because the cranial meninges surround the brain. The spinal and cranial meninges are actually continuous with each other and consists of the same three meningeal layers. The outermost layer is called the dura mater, and it's a thick, tough layer, as you can see here. The middle layer is called the arachnoid matter, which is a delicate, spiderweb-like layer. The arachnoid matter is ballooned up very closely against the dura mater. It's actually so thin and so close to the dura mater that it won't really be visible, but it'll be located right below the dura mater around here. So this forms a space between the arachnoid matter and the innermost meningeal layer, the pia matter. This space is called the subarachnoid space and is filled with cerebrospinal fluid, which protects the spinal cord and cushions it from shock. Now you can see the pia matter, which is this very thin layer that is flush against the surface of the spinal cord. The pia matter has blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients to the spinal cord. Now along the sides, you can see these triangular ligaments. So you can see it right here. And these are called the denticulate ligaments and attach the pia matter here to the dura matter here. These denticulate ligaments help to anchor the spinal cord and prevent side to side movement, providing stability. Now at the lower end of the spinal cord, as I move it here, you can see that it tapers off here in this triangular shape. This is called the conus medullaris. And below that are these bundles of spinal nerves, which you can see if I tilt it, right here. And these are called the cauda equina. You can see more of them around here. This is because the cauda equina means horse's tail in Latin, and these nerves kind of look like a horse's tail. And here in the middle of the cauda equina is a filament, which I can't really find. But that filament would be called the filum terminale. The filum terminale does not consist of nerve tissue, and is actually an extension of the pia matter that attaches to the tailbone and secures the spinal cord in place. I that's the end of the spinal cord dissection. Thanks for staying, lads. Here's a fun fact about spinal cords to send you on your way. Your spinal cord stops growing when you're 5 years old. It undergoes a rapid period of growth in your first 5 years of life, but after that, it's done. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.